Hey what's up you guys, it's Connor and today we are going to be doing our BarkBox unboxing for October. If you guys don't know, these two fluffy butts turned two this month on October 12th and so I figured that I would just do it with these two because I already filmed a video today with Just Rock so he's not being left out, he had his own special video. We're gonna celebrate these two pups second birthday. If you guys don't know, BarkBox is a monthly subscription service that sends you treats, toys, and a chew bone every month to your pups. See that up up on the couch. Good girl. They come in small, medium, and large. These guys get large because Nook is over 50 pounds. All the treats are made in the US and the chew bones have a couple of other countries that they're allowed to be from. Last time we did a BarkBox unboxing, I, I was a little bit thrown off by the fact that it's not labeled on their packaging that they are from the US. So I'm hoping this time they've actually put the made in the US sticker or whatever on their packaging. So when you open the box, there's usually some paper inside, which is true. And this one, they gave you the option because it was their birthday to get a little birthday cake. And so I ended up doing it. It says, happy birthday, natural pie shaped treat for a special dog. This is the original pup pie. It comes in little sections, as you can see. So I'm just going to be cutting along those sections and giving them parts of the pie. And then I'll give Rock some later. You want to open it? You want to see how, you want to see what's inside? This was made in New York, if you're curious. And it's by the Lazy Dog Cookie Company. See, let's stay on the couch. Ooh, it smells like ginger. Ooh, they love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got this for them. And it looks like it has the dog safe icing on the top. There's a piece for Sila. And a piece for Nookers. They're gonna take forever. So as I was saying, when you open the box, it has some paper on it. This one says, no, I think your costume looks scary. So maybe this is just gonna be Halloween themed, not Barktoberfest. And it has a bunch of dogs dressed up in Halloween costumes. I love their paper that they do in their boxes. The first thing I see in here is going to be this little cauldron toy. It looks like it has a, a green potion. It has some bubbles on the top. This is made by BarkBox. Ooh. And as I've said before, I always end up cutting off these little tags of any to oh, dropped it because it prevents the dogs from trying to rip them off and it makes the toys last just a little bit longer. Sometimes BarkBox toys last forever, sometimes they don't. What's cool about BarkBox is now they've got the BarkBox Destroyers Club or something like that. And so if your dog destroys their toys, you can take pictures of the toys or the dogs with the toys and post it on social media and then you will get credit towards their store, which is really cool. So if your dog likes to destroy their toys, you can continuously get more toys even though your dog is destroying them. <laughs> you want it? There you go. The next thing in here is going to be the other toy and that is this rabid squirrel. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is Bite of the Living Dead. I don't know where I've seen like a rabid squirrel before, maybe on television or something like that, but Nook loves squirrels. So I think I'm just gonna save this for him. <laughs> and it has a squeaker in it. Oh my God, and it has some fuzzy plush on the back which Nook will like to rip out. And again, I rip off all the tags. I actually really like all the toys that BarkBox makes because I feel like they're all very unique. Like where are you gonna see this in a store? <laughs> you want this one? We'll give the other one to Sila. You want this one? And the stuff that they're going to be the most interested in are going to be the T-R-E-A-T-S. All the dogs know what that means and I don't want Rock to get upset. The first treats in this box are going to be these bacon treats. These are by Healthy Dogma. And these were made in the U.S. And these are made with USDA inspected human quality bacon. Nookie, what are you going to do for it? Pause up. Good boy, puppy. High five. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. You see that? Up up. You want a treat? Come on. Here. Up up. Get on the couch. Get up on the couch. Here you go, see. 
So obviously the dogs like these treats. The other bag of treats are going to be the American Hound All Natural Jerky Dog Treats. These are proudly made in the USA as well. So yay that the treats are labeled as such. These are made with pork, sweet potato, brown rice flour, flax seed. The crude protein is 20%. Sila. This is the longest Sila has stayed on the couch, so I'm proud of her. Eh. Trying to get more of the birthday cake. Can you give me a kiss? I love you. Oh wow, these smell really strong. So we'll give one to Nut. Give one to Sila, because she's behind the camera now. They really like these treats too. For some reason, the card was at the bottom of the box and actually has a lot of, oh, this is cool. Okay, so instead they gave you a bunch of coupon codes that I can give out to people during Halloween. So these are all free BarkBox months when you sign up for six or 12 month plans. So that's cool, I'll be giving those out at Halloween. Free marketing, okay. Also with getting a free BarkBox and everything like that, I don't have a referral link anymore, so I will leave someone random's referral link that will get you a free BarkBox when you sign up, as well as get them a free BarkBox. And so if you have a referral link, make sure to leave it down below in the comments, and that's how I decide which one I'm going to use for the next month. I always pick one from the most recent BarkBox video that I've done. And Rock knocked over the gate, so now he's here. Happy birthday, do you want a piece of their cake? Rocky, come here. Give a piece of their cake. There you go. Anyway, the last thing that's going to be in this box is going to be this Play-Doh Pet Treats Thinker Salmon. This is a dog treat. This was also made in the USA, so all across the board, thumbs up. And I will give this to Nook later on when we're just hanging out, and I think he deserves a little bit more of a special treat. But we always give these during movies and everything like that when the dogs are being crazy and we want them just to chill out a little bit. So that's everything that's gonna be in this month's Bark Box. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. If you're gonna dress up your dog for Halloween, what costume are you using? I really wanna dress Nook up as something, but I can't decide what I wanna dress him up as yet. So I need some ideas. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye.